This is going to actually be kind of a long duration rain event for us, but it's going to come down heavily at times that there could be some flash flooding, especially tomorrow night into Tuesday morning. Great view this evening, though. Thanks to Brad for sending this along in Old Saybrook and mentioned the tropics earlier. I want to show you specifically tropical storm Earl now winds to 50 miles per hour. It's to the north east of uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico right now, but not very organized and it's going to get more organized over the next few days, but most of its travels will be out over the open ocean. Bermuda will have to keep an eye on this, but it will stay far enough away from the east coast. It may bring some wave action toward the east coast for really the first time uh, this summer out of any tropical system later this week. Right now it's 72 in Hartford, 74 in New Haven and want to take a little bit of a closer look at New Haven because notice the dew point 72 it's feeling like the tropics out there tonight especially at the shore where it is very very humid a dew point of 72 also in Chester and even inland it's not much more comfortable with dew points that are in the mid 60s it stays humid tomorrow and even for most of Tuesday and then more comfortable air will be moving in for the rest of the upcoming week. We had some storms fire up in central and western Connecticut with some really drenching downpours, a sign of the type of air mass that we're going to be in the next few days. If you get into a downpour, it can really pour, and there are a lot of them to the west. All of this rain is going to be headed up our way for both tomorrow, tomorrow night and Tuesday. So for the rest of tonight, it doesn't cool off much, especially by September standards. Lows tonight in the 60s to around 70 with a few showers. Tomorrow uh, we'll be getting back into the 70s to near 80 and then look at the temperatures on Tuesday. 60s to around 70. That's it with periods of rain that will be out there. This is the map at six in the morning tomorrow. Lots of clouds and isolated shower. There will be a couple of rounds of showers and a few downpours during the day, but I don't think it's a washout. I think the heaviest rain comes in late in the day into tomorrow night. Look at all the rain to our north. This eventually starts building south. And because of the rate of this rain, we could see some minor or flash flooding, especially of poor drainage areas and city streets for Tuesday morning. I think that's when the heaviest of this rain is likely to come through. The reason this front just sets up right overhead and very slowly moves along, but it does look like it will start to pull away and high pressure builds south for the middle and end of the week. We need the rain. Just not great to get it all at once and not great to have an impact part of the holiday weekend. At least one to three inches of rain, but there could be some amounts that get over three or even four inches of rain in those tropical downpours. We saw it today. A couple of towns got more than an inch and a half of rain out of those downpours this afternoon and this evening. And I think when you put it all together, we may have some impressive totals in a few towns by Tuesday night when all of this gets wrapped up. So again, for Labor Day, a lot of clouds, maybe a break or two of hazy sun with off and on showers during the day with heavier rain arriving late in the day and at night. Periods of rain for Tuesday does not look good for the Tuesday morning commute and then great weather from Wednesday, Thursday into next weekend. Looks like temps get back above average by then. We'll see you with more at 11.